In Activity 6, Decoding Weather Data, students learn to decipher the codes used on weather maps and create station model cards for local weather conditions. The students will interpret weather map symbols and make and update sections on the weather stations. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 6, 15 cm by 20 cm index cards, 23 cm by 30 cm pieces of construction paper, paper fasteners, and weather stations. You will also need to provide markers and weather reports. To prepare for the activity, make a copy of Activity Sheet 6 for each student. Make several station model cards for use in this activity. Use the weather reports from different days to gather the data to be used on the cards. Refer to Figure 1-1 and Activity Sheet 6 for codes and their placement. Be sure to collect today's weather reports. Each team of two will need one index card, a piece of construction paper, a marker, four paper fasteners, and their weather station. Begin the activity by showing symbols that students will be able to identify, such as a no smoking symbol, restroom figures, and so on. Ask students what advantage do symbols have over written words. Students should respond that symbols can be understood by many people, even if they do not speak the same language. Define coding for students as the use of symbols to convey information. Bring students' attention to one or two of the weather maps that have been collected. Point out the codes on the weather maps. Have students imagine that they work for the National Weather Service and it is their job to record the weather data from all the big towns and cities on a weather map every day. Ask them how they would go about doing this. Encourage responses that indicate that the students are thinking about using coded information such as pictures or symbols. Ask students what information should be included on this weather map. Students should suggest that temperature, amount of precipitation, wind speed and direction, and barometric pressure be included on this weather map. If it isn't mentioned, tell students that the extent of cloud cover is also important to code and put on the map. Distribute Activity Sheet 6 and the materials. Have students familiarize themselves with the weather map symbols on the activity sheet. Next, explain to students that a station model uses codes and symbols to show what the weather is like in a certain place. Show a sample station model and tell students that this is a simplified version of an actual station model. A station model card begins with a circle in the center. The center of the circle is filled in according to the amount of cloud cover. Have students look at the cloud cover symbols on their activity sheets. Coming into the circle is a line designating the direction from which the wind is coming. Inform students that on the end of the line are perpendicular barbs indicating wind speed. Each long barb represents 10 knots of wind. Half lines represent 5 knots of wind. A pennant at the end means 50 knots of wind. The numbers to the right of the center circle indicate barometric pressure in millibars. A plus or minus symbol tells whether the pressure has increased or decreased since the last reading. The number below the barometric pressure indicates the amount of precipitation in millimeters. The symbol to the lower left of the center circle tells the type of precipitation according to the international code listed on Activity Sheet 6. The number in the upper left represents the air temperature in degrees Celsius. Show the station model cards that you have made one at a time. Have students interpret the information contained in the symbols on the cards. Ask teams to draw the weather symbols from Activity Sheet 6 onto a horizontal piece of construction paper. Have the teams retrieve their weather stations and write the heading Station Model Codes on the upper left part of their weather stations. 
Then, have teams secure the code sheets to their stations below the new heading with two paper fasteners. Write the heading Station Model Cards below the sheet of codes that they just made. Each team should make a station model card for today's conditions and fasten it under this new heading. Have students make and add a station model card to their weather station during each continuing observation session. Students should secure the latest weather report on top of the other reports in the bottom center of their weather station. Finally, lead a discussion comparing yesterday's forecast with today's actual weather. To conclude the activity, have the students return their weather stations to the designated areas. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide.